nation states are shifting the cybersecurity landscape. They are the tail wagging the dog. These countries tend to be the biggest investors in research and development, operations, and offensive technology. They represent the biggest threat to cybersecurity. They can buy the most expensive zero days. They can create the most effective uh, exploitations out there. And often, these countries out there, they're driven by foreign policy to influence other countries, to steal intellectual property, or to gain hard currency to circumvent embargoes and trade restrictions. So they have the motivation, they have the resources, they can develop long-term tools, and all those attacks that they can drive, well, even though it might be targeted at other countries and their critical infrastructure, everything cascades down to impact end users. Imagine a nation state uh, developing or buying a high-end zero-day exploitation, creating the, the attack malware or processes or tools to, to launch it at scale. When they release that, the world sees it. And there are many organizations, cyber criminal organizations, for example, that will grab that code, that will seize upon that vulnerability, they'll tear it apart and use pieces of that for their own purposes. And they're not necessarily attacking governments. They might be attacking you and me. Everyday people, small, medium, and large businesses everywhere. So this is how the entire industry is changing.